all know uh, why we are here this morning. But before I say a, word, uh, say a few words, and before um, Martin and Conceseo say a few words, uh, Mr. Edward Quinlan, Chairman of the Board of Governors of Divine College, is here this morning to speak about Conceseo. So over to Edward. Thank you, Mark. In fact, I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to give a very few brief remarks. I don't. I never make speeches, in fact, because I'm totally useless at them. Uh, um, but uh, it was great to see such a large turnout today. It, it is, uh, I think you should be very proud, indeed, Councillor. I'd like to thank you personally for your, all your dedication, loyalty, and remarkable service to our school over a long period of time. Now, I've read all the just individual testimonials, and I must say, I was impressed by them. And not just what they said about you, but I could identify with <clears throat> each of the sentiments expressed, uh, but also what they said about the teachers, writing them. Quite frankly, I thought they expressed very well um, the, the, the uh, uh, values of all, of, all, of, all, of, all of you and the values of our school. Now, there were certain trends, I thought, running through uh, the comments about Consecura. Um, the fact that he was always active, uh, always responsive, and anxious to help everybody solve problems 24 7. Now, these are admirable traits indeed, for which we're very grateful. Uh, um, but also, they give rise to two concerns on my part. Firstly, uh, the fact that you have had a very successful career thus far, but I'm afraid you are going to be a big failure at retirement. <laughs> <laughs> and and, 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 and uh, my own personal retirement lasted three weeks <laughs> and, 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 uh, before I was back in action. Uh, uh, now, I think yours could be even briefer. <laughs> but but uh, um, many, many of us over the years have, have discussed <clears throat> what makes Dubai College so successful. We have wonderful teachers, wonderful parents, wonderful students, but yet the, the whole is more than the sum of the parts, arguably. And what is this special ingredient? What is this magic potion that gives rise to this success? And we have never been able to identify what it is. But what we've always agreed on is that we will only know what it is when it has gone. And, and, and uh, uh, certainly, again, in, 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 in the testimonials, there were many references to glue. The Ponsecaro <coughs> is the glue that holds everything together. But I just have a concern, I just hope <laughs> that, that when, when you leave Ponsecaro, that, that, uh, that, that everything that makes us successful in Dubai College will not disappear with, with you. We wish you every success, good luck in your in, 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 in in a very short retirement, <laughs> and we look forward to remaining in very much in contact with you. And please give the best wishes of all of us to Tony Fulger. Now, some of you may not know who Tony Fulger is, but he was very much involved in the foundation of this school. He was a remarkable character, uh, ex-military policeman, and, and a formidable person. If you thought uh, Captain Higgins was bad, you should have met Tony Soldier. Thank you again for everything. Thank you. Okay, so there are a few more bits to get to actually before we, we um, hand over to Conceseo. Uh, there's also a feast that's been laid on by the FTC in the in the boardroom. So there's a there's a whole bunch of food after this, uh, particularly for um, the support staff. But um, the man, the myth, the legend, 
Dubai College's fifth pillar, the longest serving member of DC's ancillary staff, the only man to receive two officially state-sanctioned leaving events, the only departing member of staff whose retirement is reported in the Gulf News, <laughs> which is true, they were in this week and it will be released at some point later in the week, recipient of several second place awards for the tidiest school in Dubai, <laughs> but a winner to us all today, Consorceo Souza. I have a few more testimonies. So many of you came along to the, uh, to the leaving event that we hosted. I think there are 125 people, which says an awful lot about Consorceo's support and popularity of the school, uh, who came along to his first event. This is his second event. Uh, his third event will be taking place in London, uh, for those of you that didn't know. So we're flying Consorceo out to London to the, uh, the DC alumni reunion, which takes place every year. Uh, and we're hoping to be able to um, patch him in with Tony Fulger as well, with a visit down to West Sussex. Um, during that event. So I've got a couple more testimonials uh, that have come in since that event that I just want to, to share to echo uh, what Edward has said this morning. So from Tony himself, uh, a legend in his own time, thank you firstly for your enterprise in leaving the comforts of home in order to improve the prospects for you and your family. Thank you also for your abiding loyalty, your example to others and your enduring friendship. So that was from Tony. Tom Jackson, former headmaster, I now wish you a long and really happy and healthy retirement in the years to come, and all the best to you in the future. From Pete, Peter Hill, Consorceo, the real big boss, thank you for all the problems you solve so brilliantly, mostly caused by me. <laughs> Generations of DC students, staff and families, as well as numerous heads and bursars have relied on your amazing energy, dedication and loyalty. Thanks for the smile over the years and very, very best wishes for your retirement. Uh, and then, a man who none of us have heard from for a very long time, by the name of Richard Higgins. Dear Consorceo, I've just heard you're leaving Dubai College after 36 years of outstanding service. I think of you often. We worked closely together for nearly 21 years, and I remember with a great deal of respect all the excellent things you did for Dubai College. Also the first class, no nonsense assistance that you so generously always gave to me. You were my right hand man, you were my memory, and could always remember in great detail all the annual activities that needed to be planned and set up. I could never remember anything, but you knew what kit was required, where it was stored, where it was needed to be positioned, and how we'd done it the year before. All I had to do was nod my head, and like magic, you sorted it out. You also seemed to read my mind. I'd have a problem and decided I need to talk to you about it, and then you'd walk through my office door and present me with the answer before I'd asked you the question. I wish you and your family much health and happiness in many exciting years ahead. Yours sincerely, Richard Higgins. So. We have a few little extra things uh, for Constance Hill this morning. First of all, a letter uh, from the Board of Governors um, uh, on their behalf, thanking Consorceo for everything uh, that he has done over the past 36 years. The second place awards uh, that he got for the tidiest school, uh, but also a brand new award uh, to hang up in your toilets. Um, <laughs> the Long Service Employee Award for Consorceo Sousa. So the longest serving member of ancillary staff at Dubai College ever. You are an absolute hero and a legend on my behalf. Thank you, absolutely. <laughs> and there's also money and cards, uh, but Martin now, I'd like to call up, uh, because Martin is gonna speak for Conscious Aid. Okay, so we know Conseil is a, a man of very few words. Um, very often, you get on the phone to him, ask him something, and all you hear at the end of it is a. <coughs> <laughs> so he's bless him. He's feeling just a little bit emotional today. Um, so he's put a few words together, which uh, I'd like to convey to you. Thank you. Thirty-six years is a long time in one job, but Dubai College is like one big family, and I've enjoyed it very, very much. 
I've worked for all four Dubai College bursars and hope to meet the first one, Tony Folger, again later this year when I'll be honoured to go to the reunion in London. Thank you for this great chance, and I have my visa already. <laughs> <clears throat> there are too many people I want to talk about, but here are just some special mentions. Drama teacher Graham Penson, who I phone all the time in Australia. Martin Woolley and his family for having the curry at their house for so many years after the staff cricket match. Andy Jones for always remembering me at Easter and Christmas. Alan Davidson for all the golf shirts. <laughs> Prem for always helping me quickly when I needed support. And thank you to Mr. Quinlan and the governors, to Mike, to Kieran, and to all the teachers and admin staff. I'm happy to be retiring, but I want to hear all the school news in the future, and I will be phoning you. <clears throat> Finally, that's great timing, actually. Finally, thank you to all the men and ladies in blue. I'll miss working with you and playing cricket against the teachers. To Jakir, I hope you've been making notes while working with me. And good luck when you take over. Thank you. <laughs> so there's some food uh, in the boardroom for those of you who want it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>